everyone, it's MK. Welcome back to MK Quilts. So I'm starting out the a video kind of like I used to, right? No fluffy white dog. <laughs> no Mr. MK today. It's just a crazy, crazy week. I, I'm sure that I am preaching to the choir, right? I am sure that all of you are also very, very busy with your final preparations for the holiday, just as I am. But I wanted to jump on this afternoon because just as I was thinking about my schedule and the calendar and just kind of where we are in the year, I am pretty sure that this is probably going to be our last live feed for the year. Hey Sherry and hey Annette. So I, I'm i not 100% sure. Next week is Christmas. We're going to have family here. Then at the end of the month we are going to be uh, on the road. So likely this will be our last uh, live feed for, for this year. So I just wanted to hop on and first things first. I really must tell you guys that I am completely and 100% overwhelmed and humbled as this year comes to a close for us just in the blessings that we have had this year. And you know, I know some will say you should keep religion separate from business and don't talk about blessings and all of that. But y'all know who I am, right? We always try to be transparent with you and this is this is this is who we are, okay? And I talk about blessings because I feel that we have been given many, many throughout this year. I, I personally have had a fantastic time traveling around the country, meeting so many of you. You know, a couple of years ago, Mr. MK left corporate America behind, and I don't need to go into all the corporate uh, or the gory details about that, but it happened. He left his IT job for whatever those reasons were, and he started focusing with me on MK Quilts. And since that time, our roles have really, I mean, we've been working together in this business, but our roles have kind of flip-flopped. Like he's home a lot, and I've been on the road this year, just out there and traveling and meeting so many of you. And for those of you who hosted me this year, I, would, I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart because what you did for me was just as important as what I did for you, right? I mean, you you brought me there for training so that I could help you and the other, you know, owners that live where you live. But you also helped me in that, right? You helped me expand my business, get my name, my brand out there in front of more people. And we appreciate that because, you know, we told y'all from the very beginning that we're retailers here. We have a local spot here in Florida, and but we sell nationally. And, you know, if you have a retailer where you are, that's great. But if you don't, we've asked you to help us spread the word about MK. Help us spread the word about Mr. MK. What we do here, what we offer, the services that we feel are a little bit special, a little bit unique to the handy quilter family, okay? I really I really do feel like we're kind of we're a little bit different. Um and so we we're just we're staying true to that. We're trying our very best to expand in the right way, grow and all of that. And you have helped us do do that this year. Next year, you guys, I am not just saying this. Those events that I put up for 2019, most of them actually yeah, most of them are nearly sold out, okay? So I, I'm about to add two or three more events to the schedule, so keep watching. I'm, I'm just so excited to go on the road again next year and meet more of you, more owners, and you know, I, I believe and I trust, right? I trust that God is going to continue to bless us in this, in this business. We're going to try to continue to bless you. He's going to continue to bless us. And I, I really feel that I am going to have more followers, more owners, and just spread the love. You guys, this is my deal. And if any of you have not watched my interview that I did with Handy Quilter a couple of years ago, going on three years ago now, if you've not watched that, go and watch that, handyquilter.com slash Melissa. I tell you a little bit about my story and how getting into this whole quilting gig was kind of like a fluke. 
Well, it's like I quilting was not on my radar back in 1995. And, you know, I am on the way to pick up my mom from the airport. And my mom plays very, very heavily into my role in quilting. And so it's just been an incredible journey for me. I can't even believe that this is my job, but this is what I do. And I love it. And I'm so happy that I've been able to help so many of you. And, uh, you know, when you reach out to me and, and you say things to me like, I was just so lost before you. I'm so glad that I found you. Your videos are so helpful. Uh, you know, can you come to my house, Melissa? I'll host an event. I can't even tell you. I'm close to tears right now, so I have to move on. But I can't even tell you how happy it makes me. So thank you for making my year. And I hope that, uh, I hope that I've helped make your year in a, in a very small way. All right, so Mr. MK is uh, running errands today, helping some people. And uh, I, like I say, I'm finishing up here in the shop. I got to go get my mom and dad. They're going to be spending the holiday with us. But I do want to give you uh, a, just a couple pieces of business type things. So the first thing is a little bit of a little bit of a heads up, uh, a little bit of a sneak peek, if you will. Next year in 2019, uh, Paul and I have been talking about these live feeds and what we're doing with the live feeds. So first things, live feeds are not going away, but they may take on a slightly different look or a different focus next year. Okay, so keep watching. We have some plans for what we want to share with you uh, in the beginning part of next year. Second thing is, we have actually some announcements to make uh, to you, but not until after the first of the year, okay? So there's going to be announcements. There is going to be some new products in the store. My class, uh, I'm just going to speak about that in a minute. My class is going to be up there. And I, you know, you, you already know I'm going to be busy next year. But I really, I am really planning to get back to what kind of made me I don't want to say famous, that, that just doesn't sound right, but I really want to get back to redoing some of my videos, giving you guys free content on YouTube, uh, doing new classes, the things that really help you, and then I will fit in the travel and the machine sales and the installs, all of that, we will we'll cover that, okay? And one of the announcements that we're going to have next year is going to be how we are going to be expanding, okay? So... Keep watching, okay? The live feeds are going to be just slightly different, uh, but we're going to have some announcements after the first of the year, okay? Um, let's see. My mom and dad are going to be here. Christmas is coming, so you, I may be doing some posting. You know, my mom loves to sew, and she's going to be here for a few days, so I may be doing some posting and whatnot, uh, but just know that I'm probably not going to be on as much as I have been. Now, uh, if you have problems or issues, uh, watch for a post or perhaps one final newsletter that uh, will, will tell you what to do in our absence, okay? We are going to be out of the country and for the most part, unreachable. I mean, we will have internet at our hotels and whatnot, but we're going to have some coverage for us while we're gone, okay? So we don't want you to feel like we're totally out of the picture. We're going to be watching and whatnot, but uh, please feel free to reach out to us even if you know that we're not here. Now, a side note, here comes the don't mix business with, you know, pleasure and whatnot. If you would like to follow along with some of my travels, me and Paul's travels while we go to the Holy Land, I will make a post about another group that you can follow along with if you would like. Here's what I'm going to try to do, you guys. This is a huge trip for us, and I really want to be present to what we're going to see over there. But I also want to, um, you know, if you want to watch and see some things, there's going to be some sort of a group or a board or post or I don't know. I got to talk to my choir director about it, the specifics. But if you would like to follow along, there will be a way for you to do that. See snippets and things that places that we're going to be over there in Israel and Jerusalem and Bethlehem. And oh my gosh, I just, I can't even believe we're going. I really can't, but I'm super excited. Okay, so I'm going to finish up by showing you what's on the frame. You guys, oh, I am over the moon excited. I just put the last stitches in my whole cloth. Uh, 
stitch out. So I had, you know, I had been working on it really fast and furious, and then I had to take it off and do some other work and finish things up for clients. But I just finished it today. Now I know I had said earlier that I was going to try to have this class for Christmas, and I apologize. It's just not going to happen. I am so excited about how it turned out that I really don't want to rush the editing process. And, you know, I just, I really want to make this one uh, shine and sparkle. It's going to be my best class yet. There's going to be stuff included in there about how you can get the designs. Christy Dillon and I have uh, talked about how we want to offer what I've done to you as a bundle kind of a thing. So it's not going to be out before Christmas, okay? But when we, when Paul and I get back next year, January, I will hit the road hard running to get this class up and ready. So let me just show you a little bit. It's still on the frame. Now before, you've been seeing me post about this this morning right so you know that I set the whole thing up of course in simulation a little bit of work in art and stitch and I pretty much pretty much stitched it from top to bottom but there were some sections in the middle that I waited till the end and I'm really glad that I waited because what I did was I took this whole big thing and I put it on the frame at an angle okay and that allowed me to do some of the things that were previously on a horizontal or on a diagonal it allowed me to turn it so that it was horizontal and it made the stitching go so easy I made one one slight change to a pattern and I am just thrilled I'm so excited that it's done you guys let's just take a look okay so here here it is on the frame loaded diagonally or on point whatever you want to call it and I've just put the last the last stitches in here now, I'm going to pull it off. Of course, I'm going to bind it. I'll probably put a sleeve on it. But some of y'all were making comments about how I should maybe enter this quilt into some of the big shows next year. So I'm not ruling that out. Uh, I primarily did it. I primarily did this stitch out to put in my booth at an upcoming quilt show that we're going to be vendors at. And, you know, I, I already have quilts in that show. Hold on, I got it clip my phone there. I already have quilts in the show for, for my guild, but I really want my booth to shine as well. So I did this primarily for my booth, but, um, you know, when I'm done with it at the end of January for that show, it could, it could absolutely go into be entered some other place. So who knows? Maybe you'll see it somewhere around the country next year. All right, you guys, I gotta, I gotta get on out of here. I gotta check and see when my mom and dad are coming in. It's been raining. And so I don't want to push things getting into the airport. So that is all I've got to, got for you today. That's all I've pretty much got for you this year. Again, from the bottom of our hearts, from Paul, myself, and of course, little Samson. Thank you, thank you, a million thank yous for being a follower for all of your business this year. And until next time, everyone, from my studio, got the little jingle bells on today, from my studio to yours. Happy quilt, happy quilting, Merry Christmas, a very blessed 2019 to you, and I'll see you next year. Bye-bye.